In the impact segment tonight, as the factor reported last night, a potentially damning piece of evidence that there may have been some wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton is General Electric's refusal to release emails about a big contract that was awarded with her backing. When a corporation like General Electric says it will not make public emails sent to it by the State Department, during a period of time when GE secured a big contract from the Algerian government while donating generously to the Clinton Foundation, there's something very wrong. GE CEO Jeffrey Immel must know that there is an appearance of impropriety here, and he has an obligation to the shareholders of GE to avoid any taint of scandal. Thus, Immel should release those emails immediately. If he does not, the Justice Department should begin an investigation. Well, at GE's shareholder meeting earlier this week, one of its stockholders did ask if the company will release those emails in exchange with the State Department. That stockholder, Justin Danhoff, joins us now. He's general counsel for the National Center for Public Policy Research. Also joining us is Melissa Francis, host of Money at our sister network, 2 p.m. Eastern on Fox Business. So, Mr. Danhoff, what did GE tell you about releasing those emails? By the way, you went to the shareholder meeting. That's right. Um, thanks for having me on, Eric. Um, on Tuesday, I traveled to Oklahoma City. I went to the belly of the beast, and I confronted Mr. Imo, the General Electric CEO, face to face. And I laid out just what Mr. O'Reilly laid out, that here are the facts, and they're not disputed. You donated to the Clinton Foundation. Hillary Clinton admits that she lobbied the Algerian government on behalf of General Electric. And Algeria did indeed award a $1.9 billion contract to General Electric after the fact. So after I laid out those facts, I said, since we cannot get blood from a stone, and the stone being Hillary Clinton's server in this um, instance, would you, General Electric, would you release the documents, would you release the communications that you had with the State Department during this time to prove to us investors here that nothing untoward happened? Um, and that's the approach that we're coming from. Uh, we are a good governance organization. We are concerned that General Electric may have exposed itself here to honest services fraud completely unnecessarily. Right, and, and so you did this um, in the shareholder meeting, you stand up and raise your hand, and ML was on, on, on the stage, and it, what was the response? His exact words were what I asked, are you going to release the documents? He said, that's not something we would do. So that raises the suspicion level even higher, doesn't it, right? Mm -hmm. If there's no there there, why won't GE get out in front of this story rather than playing from defense from behind? If I'm the CEO, I get out in front and say, of course we didn't do anything wrong. Here's the documents proving so. Mm -hmm. You have your lawyers vet them and you get out in front of the story. Well, let me bring in Melissa Francis. Melissa, Boeing, GE, yeah. 60 other companies had similar arrangements with Secretary of State Clinton where they were awarded some sort of bids or contracts and made donations to the Clinton Foundation. Is there, is there a there there? There is a there there. I mean, there are mountains of evidence. There are so many cases. You look at the case of Boeing. Um, she went and she lobbied for them to get a contract in Russia for jets. After that, they put money right into the foundation. I don't know. Going after the emails may not be the way to go because it's doubtful to me that they actually put in writing that there was a quid pro quo. I don't even know if you need that. I mean, you look at the uranium situation. This is a disaster. We have let Russia corner the market on uranium mm -hmm. all around the world. They now control the U.S.'s source of uranium. We're we're a net importer. We need this for weapons and for energy. You say to yourself, how in the world did we let this happen? Isn't there a committee that sits there and judges whether or not companies should be able to buy strategic assets Do you assets know where the, the committee is? At where the they are? Yeah. Yeah, the State at, the, Department. at the State Department. Right. And she sat on that committee by virtue of saying nothing. That is it right there. She needed to raise her hand and say, this is improper. And she would have in other situations. She got money. Her husband got money. The foundation got money from this company that she let take over America's uranium resources. Mr. Danoff, you're, you're an investor in these companies, uh, in GE as well as Boeing, if I'm not mistaken. Here's my question, though. What, so people say, all right, aren't, isn't the um, Secretary of State supposed to do that, make deals for American corporations? The problem I'm having here is that there mm -hmm. was payback. There was payment into the foundation. And this. What about the other companies? What about the competitors to Boeing and GE and uh, Uranium One? The competitors have no shot at that business. That's not free market. That's not capitalism. Well, that's right. Uh, Melissa brings up a good point that 
we have to see if there's a quid pro quo, but guess what? Under honest services fraud, it's such an ambiguous law. It was written in 1988. Um, the last time the U.S. Supreme Court case heard it, it was uh, Enron's uh, skilling in 2010, mm -hmm. and it didn't clear up the ambiguities. So if you actually reach a jury level under honest services fraud, a jury's allowed to infer guilt from the circumstances. So even if there's no, you know, secret document that I, we I can mean, find. I, you know, I don't even think you need to go that far. In the case of Uranium One, you look at the case, the bankers that were behind the deal put money directly into the Clinton's account by having Bill Clinton give that speech. 50% of that money is Hillary Clinton's because they're married. Mm. She went out and she advocated for this company by virtue of not raising her hand and saying this deal is terrible right, and not in America's interest. Hopefully they keep that, that Chinese wall right between the foundation money That's and the That's not even the, the foundation money, money right, though. That's right. speech money. I mean, speech it's money, right, right directly into that her pocket. All right, we're going to have to leave it right there. Melissa, Mr. Danhoff, thank you very much. Directly ahead, 